There are new charges against a local sheriff's deputy already accused of groping 13 women. 10 News reporter Jennifer Dela Cruz is live and Jen Deputy Richard Fisher. He's been denying this all along. Well, Brian, he's been very open and very persistent in claiming his innocence this entire time. One of those new charges says he allegedly burglarized a woman's home. And one of the most disturbing details in all of this is that Fisher allegedly committed these crimes while wearing his uniform. For almost one year now, women have publicly accused Sheriff's Deputy Richard Fisher of sexual assault. He's already awaiting trial on those charges and was arrested again today. He's facing an additional five charges of sexual assault, burglary, and three counts assault and battery by an officer. Tenu spoke to one of his accuser's attorneys when the allegations first surfaced last fall. Shocks her. She's startled. He claims his client was assaulted inside her own home. Now he's deeper into the house and he grabs her and hugs her again. And at this point, she starts resisting um, and, and walks him to the door. And then he says, um, hey, don't worry, I'll be in the community, I'll be in the neighborhood, and I'll be keeping an eye out for you. A total of 19 women have come forward saying they were touched inappropriately without their consent. He's absolutely a predator. Uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just last month, Fisher and his wife openly denied every one of those claims. Every night, my wife and I pray that my good name will be cleared and exonerated. These charges are simply untrue. They are false. I expect to be fully vindicated as this case moves forward. Some of the women he allegedly assaulted say otherwise. It's amazing to me that somebody can stand in front of, you know, God, him being a Christian man, and everybody else and sit there and lie like that without any shame. The DA's office says Fisher preyed on his victims while he was on duty and in full uniform, mostly late at night. If convicted, he could face up to 25 years in prison. Now, Fisher is still behind bars tonight. His bail is set at $2 million. He has an arraignment scheduled tomorrow at 8 a.m. and 10 News will be there. Reporting from Sheriff's Headquarters, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News. We will follow it. Thank you, Jennifer.